On September 19th, in the year 2013, the striking new structure began to receive those who waited for so long in anxious anticipation for this momentous occasion that would herald in a new experience for all who wished to traverse the expanses of the mighty river. The dignitaries arrived with coats and papers. The workers milled around in quiet anticipation of witnessing their work be assaulted by feet first, and then soon thereafter, motor vehicles, already aligned on both approaches to be the first to travel over. The ribbon was stretched. The high school band nervously waited in the sweltering heat, only minutes after making a grand march to the center of the structure known as the bascule. Ah, the bascule, that part that is apt to open and swallow unsuspecting passerbys and cars if a sailing vessel ever imposed its maritime right of way without ample notice. On the bascule's deck, the makeshift stage of flags were posted and the podium positioned to enable the dignitaries to speak their self-important speak, while the children patiently waited to have their own glorious march across the structure. But in addition to all these things, there were other, more pronounced, or subtle realities, depending on one's own disposition. There was a soft breeze, a piercing sun, and a familiar clanking and banging of car tires against an old, tired bridge. How surreal it was for some to hear those protesting sounds without having to travel over that old bridge to produce them. The sounds and sensations were perceived from an adjacent position of an imposing and shining new bridge, juxtaposed against a sagging old and gray bridge. But the most startling sound was the silence of the children. Patiently waiting for the band to play, the dignitaries to proclaim important things that were unimportant to them, they were the last to participate in the opening ceremony by crossing the full expanse of the glorious new structure, and then, afterwards, they quietly and patiently clamored to secure a piece of the treasured ribbon that heralded this event. is the name of the old bridge and the name of the new one. The bridge links Haverhill and Groveland and is popularly known as the Groveland Bridge. The 775 foot span costs $49.7 million. It is a single leaf draw bridge, known as a bascule bridge, and it is very impressive to see the center leaf raised high above the river to allow boats to pass through. The work of dismantling the old bridge is now underway and it will take into early spring of 2014 for that portion of the project to be completed. This is why the bridge's marker indicates the year 2014 on it, even though the new bridge is finished and cars and walkers cannot traverse it. The company that was awarded the contract to build the bridge hailed from Maine and is known as Chianbro. The project was supervised by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation. The project never stopped throughout all the seasons of New England. The workers manhandling equipment, floating devices, heavy pieces of machinery, tools, welding equipment, cranes, and vehicles. It was their amazing skill, professionalism, dedication, and courage to weather these elements and all the engineering challenges to complete this project. Yes indeed, they built us a beautiful bridge.